Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm going to kind of cover um, some of the basic functions of AutoCAD. I'm going to talk about what are views, what are properties, what are layers, and um, I'm going to kind of go over kind of where the, all the things are located, the basic um, layout of AutoCAD, the web app. So when you open up your file, and we've, I've created a tutorial drawing from a template file, so I'm here in the paper space. You begin in the paper space, that is where you're at. It is title block A is the name of the paper space. It's the paper of what gets printed out. The model view is where you actually build your drawing. So in here is where you actually draw, you know, your figure. Um, so if I wanted it like five inches long and uh, we'll say two inches here, make this triangle. Okay, so what you draw here is what shows up into the title block by the way of the viewport. Oh, there it is in the corner. So this is the viewport here, um, this rectangle. So if I double click here, the viewport gets selected. So you can see how the viewport is selected. And so my drawing is technically up there. So I'm just going to kind of pan it this way. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and center it right like that. Yeah, so this is the viewport. The viewport is selected right now by double clicking here in that rectangle. To exit the viewport, you'll double click out on the right hand side. So by default, it's to set the one to one. Um, you can change the scale. Um, you always want to center it first. So you'll create your drawing first in the model view, then you'll come before you put dimensions in, you'll come into the paper view here in the title block A. I will center. And now we need to set the scale. So to set the scale, we're going to click on this viewport so it's selected, okay? And then we will go to properties. And then the viewport scale is default one to one. If we want it one to two, you know, it, it, it can get smaller. One to four, it gets smaller and so on. If you want it at two to one. There's a lot in here. Um, we're not going to use all of them. Um, two to one, you kind of see how it is. So uh, a one to one is fine. So we're going to leave that at one to one and it's set. And now we'll just click off of it. We're good. Now, if you had a bigger triangle, we can set it to one to two so it's smaller. All right. Okay. So the layers. Um, so I'm going to go into the view, the model view. The layers are all the layers you can draw in. By default, layer zero is selected. Layer zero is continuous lines. Every line you draw in this layer is a continuous line. Um, if I'm in the center line layer, every line I draw is a center line. If I'm in the hidden line layer, everything I draw is a hidden line. Now, ideally, you should set the scale first before you do any dimensions, any hidden lines, and any center lines. Okay? Center line. So to do the actual dimensions, um, I'm going to just delete these for now because I don't want them. Okay. Now to go back to layer zero, um, to where I would draw it in that layer. And again, so these are by default the center line is we'll be drawing the center line. The color is already set. Layer zero is set as a regular line. Dimensioning. So we would come down to annotate and we would dimension. But the problem is we need to set the uh, scale first. And what I mean by that is uh, we need to set the so we set originally the scale and our title block for this drawing to one to one, right? We need to do the same thing actually when we're drawing the dimensions. So we want to make sure that the dim style is set to one to one. So by clicking this dim style, you can see that we have dimensions for one to one, one to two, one to four, one to five, one to ten, two to one, three to one, four to one. So we want to make sure that's one to one. Okay, so when we dimension this line here, it's the right size for the size of the figure. Now, if, as an example, if we had a really big, a really small figure, big figure, we needed to change this. So if I set this to one to two, and then I drew a dimension line for this, see how the scale, the dimension changes? If I had this set to a two to one, as an example, or this line, see how it gets bigger. So we have to set the scale first for a dimension to what we need 
to look right. And what looked right was what we set in our title block in our paper space view. Once we knew one-to-one -one fit this paper well, we should be drawing all our dimensions one-to-one -one inside our model view. So these wouldn't be necessary. They would um, have to be changed so that the dimension on, select. There we go. That the dimension property should be a one-to-one -one first. And then we can put the dimension in. Oops, I messed up there. So if I did this point to here, to here, it puts a dimension in. Or if I just highlight over that line, it does it too. So yeah, we set that scale first. That way we know what fits the paper correctly. That fits the paper correctly. Uh, last thing you need to do is make sure your title block's filled out here. So I'm going to just double click on drawing title. I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to change it. Excuse me. Always capitalize. You always want to capitalize. No lowercase letters. Just leave that as tutorial. Dimensioned. There we go. The date automatically imprint. This is period one, we'll say. Um, we don't need to worry about blocks or XREF. We'll talk about those later. We'll talk about what all the other drawing tools are later, but this drawing's done. So we can save it. Make sure we save our tutorial.dwg. Good. It's saved. Well, it's saving. And then if we need to turn in the assignment, we'll plot the PDF. Yep. Plot the PDF. Give it a second. It's generating it. And then there'll be a link here is what you'll click to actually pull up the PDF that's created. There it is. Download the PDF. And it gets downloaded. My screen pulled it over here. There we go. There's the PDF. Done. Everything's set up. And you can see now that the title block's actually, the, the whole drawing's centered. So, I, again, I have it set up so it doesn't look like it's centered here. And that's just because these Windows computers here at school are set up weird so that when it prints the PDF, it technically wouldn't be centered. So I have off-centered it on purpose here. So it doesn't look centered, but when it comes up into the PDF, it's perfectly centered. Drawing's complete. Timestamp is set automatically because it automatically sets it when you hit plot. And then that's kind of the basic um, overview of where everything is here in AutoCAD. We won't, we won't need to mess with these properties here. Um, so if we um, go back to the model, these properties, these are all set. We don't have to worry about it. The only thing we ever have to worry about is if we need to change the layer that we're working in, we change the layer we're working in, we won't check change the object properties. They are set and done. We'll just worry about changing the layer we're in when we're drawing the lines and dimensions. Um, we won't want to delete layers or anything. Um, we have our views that we talked about, the model and title block views, and the properties window when we swapped. And we can see that if we wanted to change, as an example, the viewport scale, we can change that to see what fits. But we always want to center first. Once we center, we change that scale. And then whatever scale fits the paper best for that object is what we'll use as the scale when we're dimensioning after we centered it on the piece of paper. So yeah, um, pretty simple, little basic tutorial of where the different things are in AutoCAD, the web app that we can use to create our drawings.